Nice to meet you. Likewise. Nice to meet you. Yes, you as well. Thank you again so much for having me. Oh, our pleasure. Here we are, my humble abode. Well, it's very clean. A little sparser than I expected. You know what they say, clean room, clean mind. Who says that? Say. Right. Your family is very cute. Yeah, I'd say we're about average cute. Oh, I have that audition next week, so I'm going to need to practice for a bit after dinner. No, you cannot leave me alone with your family. You're being dramatic. You're going to be fine. I just don't do all that kind of thing. I get all awkward and weird. Dude, you're such an only child. Fine. I have theory homework to do anyway. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I just have to go help my dad with something, but it'll take five minutes. I'm just... Chill out. Did Andrea desert you? Yeah, but it's all right. Can I help with anything? Sure, you can uh, start by cutting up some fruit for dessert if you'd like. So you're one of Andrea's friends from conservatory? Yeah, we played in a trio together last semester. Oh, yeah. I remember that. The Ravel, right? Yeah. Were you the pianist? Yes, good memory. Oh, I always wished Andrea had chosen the piano. Then it would have been less painful on her ears when she was learning. <laughs> well, I'm sorry we don't have a piano here for you to practice on. Oh, that's all right. I can honestly use a break. So where are you from again? I'm from the city, yeah. Right. You like it there? Uh, I think so. I haven't really lived anywhere else, so I have a limited sample size, you could say. Well, uh, it certainly is different from this place. Yes, very different. Should I cut them like that? Oh, yes, that's good. Any way you like. <laughs>
the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy, and she said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. Hey. Hey. Come sit. Okay. You're just going to have to pick up where I left off. All right. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be I just picked up off the bookshelf in the living room. No, no worries. That's what they're there for. That's a good one. Yeah? I haven't started. I haven't really been able to get into poetry, so... Well, actually, there's only a few poems in there. Mostly notes, essays. There's one I really like. Can I see if I can find it for you? Yes, here it is. For me, trees have always been the most penetrating preachers. I revere them when they live in tribes and families, in forests and groves. And even more, I revere them when they stand alone. They are like lonely persons, not like hermits who have stolen away out of some weakness, but like great solitary men, like Beethoven and Nietzsche. Agnes? 